baby name. I, I know y'all know the name. name. You want to put the face with the name. There it is, right there. Patty Duke, a radio executive, was fired by Hot 97 because of his involvement in the 1989 death of Yusef Hawkins. The HBO documentary, Yusef Hawkins, Storm Over Brooklyn, revealed the details about the black teen's death by a white mob. While the gunman was convicted and sentenced, several others were cleared of his murder. One of them was Pasquale Raucci now known as Patty Duke. He has been working at Hot 97 for decades without consequences for his involvement in Hawkins' death, much to the outrage of advocates for racial justice. Born Pasquale Raucci on January 28, 1970, the New York native goes by Patty Duke. He has deleted his social media profile since his firing. His last known whereabouts are on Staten Island. Duke married Stacy Gulia on August 28, 2008 in New Jersey. They are parents to a son, Antonio, and a daughter, Alyssa. The couple with their children and extended family reside in Staten Island. While Duke's erstwhile job at Hot 97 meant commuting to the station, Stacy works for a company in Staten Island. The HBO documentary, Storm Over Brooklyn, retold the 1989 murder of Yusef Hawkins, a 16-year-old black youth. His death was the third killing of a black person by a white mob in New York City in the 1980s. Joseph Farmer, Keith Mondello, John Vento, Joseph Serrano, and Pasquale Raucci were the suspects named in Hawkins' killing. Witnesses identified Farmer as the one who pulled the trigger that killed Hawkins. Rauchi was 19 when he was indicted. He had graduated from New Utrecht High School and was working at a business named Video Reflections. He was indicted and reportedly served as a witness identifying the other assailants. During the trial, during the trial, Rauchi's mother expressed her condolences to Hawkins' parents but couldn't comment to the media on advice of her lawyer. Fama and Modelo were convicted and sentenced in 1990. Rauchi was acquitted of the murder charges. A New York Times report said Rauchi was convicted of three counts of unlawful imprisonment, but these felony convictions were dropped by the judge who sentenced him to probation and community service for possession of a bat as a weapon. The judgment and sentence was met with outrage by New Yorkers. Most believed that justice was not served in Hawkins' disproportionate death. Four years after he was acquitted of murder charges, Pasquale Raucci as Patty Duke began working at Hot 97, the popular New York radio station. He reportedly had been working in production since 1994 and moved up to the executive ranks in the last decade. Since the documentary revealed his connection to Hawkins' mob murder, Hot 97 immediately severed its ties with Duke. The radio exec was fired according to a statement by Hot 97. After watching HBO storm over Brooklyn, Hot 97 was shocked and took swift action. Patty Duke is no longer employed by Hot 97.
Ebro Darden, one of Hot 97's well-known hosts, addressed Duke's fire and saying, the realization is that this couldn't be swept under the rug, obviously, and so he's been fired. We, as a station, had to confront this head on, Darden said. Look, I've had conversations with Patty Duke, and he told me he got swept up in the Yusef Hawkins situation. He also told me he didn't have nothing to do with it. This was, man, it had to be more than like eight, ten years ago. I didn't know he had a misdemeanor though, because he did get charged with a misdemeanor, and I didn't know that his record had been expunged. Despite Hot 97's response, social media users don't believe that the station was in the dark about Duke's criminal history. Several people have accused Hot 97 of ignoring Duke's involvement in Hawkins' death and letting him profit from hip-hop culture. <laughs>